and welcome back to Cross Stitch to the Lobe. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And this is a channel about cross stitch. Uh, today we are going to do our plans for Mirabilia May or Mira May. We have been inspired by other stitchers to participate in Mira May. I also participated in Nora November. Inspired is a better word than enabled. So, <laughs> yes, inspired. Um, I put out a new video in, for Nora November and it was such a rewarding experience creating that video and then hearing from people who watched the video like because we were able to like create cells and um get tips and I was just it was so wonderful such a great experience that I was like I know I want to do a Mira May video too um and then Allison decided to start one too so I don't have to see her by myself yay um which we... I'm very excited about <laughs> like literally this is gonna be amazing and we showed and talked in our last by the time this comes out, it won't be our last floss tube, but in a recent floss tube, um, about like a mirror belly haul that we got and like that kind of enabled. So that added a mirror to my plans for May and it changed your plans for May. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I don't know when I would have started May if it hadn't been for whatever the we timing found. and the luck and the yeah. kindness and it all just, so it all just kind of came together at the perfect time of year. Okay. If you're new to our channel, um, and you haven't seen any of the videos before we do three kinds of videos. We do videos like this, which is a floss tube extra where we take a topic we really want to talk about, um, but we can't fit it into our regular floss tubes. They're usually like designer deep dives or like we just recorded most expensive cross stitch books, like fun things like that in between our regular Monday floss stitch tubes. So you'll have one Monday that's a floss tube, one Monday that's like this, where it's like, oh, if we added this to last week's floss tube, that video would be four hours long. Then on Thursdays, we come out with um, little tutorials that are for beginners, um, but anyone's welcome. And we know some people watch them anyway, even though they're not beginners yeah. and have fun. But um, And comment. Yeah. Add to the knowledge. Um, and those videos are designed for people who shop in our Etsy shop and buy my cross stitch patterns. Um, but we put them on YouTube so that everyone can enjoy them. So if you do subscribe and you're like, well, I'm not a beginner, then Monday is your day. But you're also welcome to join us on Thursdays as well. Right. All right. So let's dive in to our mirror may plan so we're going to do a quickly we'll do a whip parade of my current mirror whips allison doesn't have any this will be my first and i have no mirror finishes so like we're not Let's doing say, like that's parade. crazy <laughs> i have mirror whips and um i'll talk a little bit about my philosophy about them when we get started but uh, then we'll talk about our plans for may and we are both starting mirrors in may um all right so and i'm enabling another cross stitcher to do it too yeah it's if she's, if I can keep her on track. <laughs> now, when Get I did, um, <laughs> my, our, when I did our Nora November video, um, I do want to say thank you to Mrs. Hannah Wilson home because I had been thinking about starting a Nora or a Mira and Mira is short for Mira, Mirabilia and Nora Corbett is a designer of both the Nora Corbett line and the Mirabilia line. They're just different. Like Mirabilia's are like bigger, more complicated and Nora Corbett's are simpler patterns. Um, still complicated and beautiful. Is that universal? Still, uh, like, pretty much, okay. yeah. Um, but uh, I had made a comment on one of her videos, like, "Oh, I'm so intimidated," and she was like, "Well, just start one." And I was like, "Okay, I guess I just will just like start one." <laughs> but I didn't start one. I started six. <laughs> but slowly true over the Stephanie fashion. over the last seven or eight months, mm -hmm. I started six. But if she hadn't had just been like put it into perspective, and other people made similar comments when I said things, but. Truly want to thank her. And if you like Mirabilia's and you're not watching her, she's currently stitching Princess Eliana. Which I love. And she's just a big fancy lady stitcher. I think she's yeah. also stitching Queen of Peace. Like, um, oh, that's cool. Which is on our most expensive uh, cross stitch patterns yeah. extra. So if you like, and also if you like Mirabilia's, check that video out. Um, all right. So we're going to do this whip parade real quick since I have whips, Allison does it. Um, and I'm going to start with my actual Nora Corbett because I'm going to touch on both and plans. So I only have one Nora Corbett going. This is Moon Glow. It looks so good. I love it so much. This is the first one of all of these that will get finished because it has so much less left to do. Mm -hmm. um, Moon Glow is from the Wild Floss series. And as you can see, since you're not stitching a dress, you're back stitching the outline of a naked woman. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go a lot faster, but she still has all this beautiful surrounding. And then this is done in like the Karen Water Lily Silk. Um, there is DMC, but a lot of this is Karen, that I have stitched so far is Karen Water Lilies. Um, I just think she's gorgeous. She was the first one and, um, that inspired me to say, like, okay, I can actually do it. Because besides, like, it's complicated, there is also the, like, if you're not super thin, how 
That's including not the only, in the space. Yeah, that's do not you the only feel, shape. Um, it, when so many of these patterns are just really thin women. And mm -hmm. so this, you know, she's not as curvy as me, but she is definitely curvy. And not only is she curvy, but the pattern celebrates her curves in a way that I felt included. And that allowed me to feel included in other spaces and see my elements of myself in other designs. Not that I need to see elements of myself in the designs, but it's nice. If yeah. you are looking for um, body inclusive fancy ladies, uh, our friend Kat from Whittier Stitches has um, a free pattern called Candy, and she's going to be coming out with other ones. I'm link to it in the description. I'm also stitching her, not included in this uh, mirror parade, but if that's something important to you, definitely go check that out, and that yeah. will be included in the description. And it's free. It's free, <laughs> um, and it's charted in DMC too, which is great with like a little bit of carnic needs, but. Um, so I love this pattern because it not only is it beautiful and I, and part of why I have so many different ones and why I don't just like want to do one and get it done. Allison really is a pro project finish stitcher. She wants to see it on the wall. Mm -hmm. And I really, when I say I'm a process stitcher, because I'm a cross stitch designer and those need to be finished to be able to be sold. Um, like, um, when I'm doing these, like, yes, I eventually want it on my wall, but really when I'm stitching her, I'm just sitting here like feeling this vibe. And if I'm stitching one of my other ones, I'm feeling that vibe. And I'm kind of like living in that picture. And I don't really want to live in one picture for six months to get it done. And then also like, I like living in different pictures on different days. And I love, and so having one started, even if I only have a small start, well, that meant I got to spend one or two nights in that picture, which is rewarding, even if I'm very far away from finishing them, which is why I have many more whips to do. <laughs> So in general, how not many, just how many do you have? Total whips? Yeah. Right now? Oh, it's outside. It's in the 30s. Okay. I started 20 things this year and finished three things this year. Okay. Yeah. No judgment. Um, all right, so well might be in the 40s, but it doesn't matter. I made it I made it to 17 and I finished something. It still fit it has to fit in the same space, and until it is more than that space, it's fine. Okay. Um, anyway, so that is Wild Floss. It is on 28 count. Paranormal by Bestitch Me, which is a, a dyed so order good. on her website, on the Bestitch Me website, but I got it as a fabric of the month. And I just, I will forever be indebted to this pattern because I don't think any of this world would have been something I would have been interested in without it. Because honestly, the first few months I saw Mirabilia's, I was like, I would never stitch one. Okay. Well, I would, I was like, not for me, because if you've seen a Mirabilia, they're very large. And guess what I got? <laughs> <laughs> and she lives in this Jasmine Custom Bags bag, uh, which is like Ouija boards and moons. So uh, if you watch my channel, if you watch my channel, if you watch our channel, I do tend to move my project around to like their most thematically perfect bag, but then sometimes something else will become more thematically perfect for that bag, and so they'll move around. So like sometimes like they do, I do move them around a little bit That's like funny. a crazy person but I love them and uh Jasmine custom bags are wonderful for housing mirrors because they can hold all the stuff yeah all right <clears throat> next one all right so this is my main mirabilia focus for this year oh, you've gotten so far I know this is the one where it's like if I'm starting a mirror to start one or like have like a certain challenge or somebody's having a birthday sale that requires something that I'll pick up another one. But if I'm just like doing Mirabilia stitching, which I try to do on Tuesdays, this is the one I pick up. I thought Mira was... They do it on Mondays, but we do Liz Matthews Mondays. So I do Nora Corbett Tuesdays. Okay. I didn't know if you tried to because I try to do Because I try to do both Fairy Flora and Moon Glow, okay. a couple hundred stitches on Tuesdays. Now that hasn't worked out well recently, but it was really going well for a while. So this is Fairy Flora. She is a retired chart, but I bought her when she was not retired. Um, and then uh, Rachel from Looking Floss and I decided to do a start along for her in November last year. So this was the first Nora pattern that I started. And um, you mean Mirabella? Mirabella? Yeah, this is the first Mirabella. So the first pattern I started of all of them was Moon Glow. This is the first Mirabella that I started. And um, She's from 1994. She's Mirabilia number seven, so it's not a surprise she got retired. Um, go check out Looking Floss, but also she's just a great fancy lady. So sure, she finished Cathedral Woods Goddess last year. Like, oh, yeah. you should follow her. Um, and then Mem Sarah from Memphis, Sarah E, joined us in the cell because she had already started. Oh, so okay. that's the Fairy Flora Retirement Cell. If you were working on her or have her and you want to join us, you know, it's going to take a long time. So we would always love to have you. Yeah. And she lives in... 
She got moved around a lot, but right now she lives in this flower bag so by Carrie Sews for You because look at those blooms on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But she's been moved around a little bit. But now this is her forever home for now. <laughs> oh, this is on 28 Count Earth by Fiber on a Whim. Uh, that was Rachel's idea, and I had it in stash, and so I copied her because I it was the I was like so intimidated in picking out mirror fabric. It was nice just to have like somebody who had finished one and like knew what they were doing and be like, no, that'll look good. And I'm like, oh, I have that one too. Okay, I'm just doing that. And that gave you confidence because now you pick your own and you're good. Yeah. yeah. I do sometimes stitch with vintage hoops. Uh, Moonglow is stitched with the <clears> hoop <throat> snap, but Fairy Floor has my favorite hoop, which people who watch the channel have seen a lot. It's this 12 inch. Uh, Duchess? That, Prin Princess. 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 All right. Oh, this is the one I started for your birthday, Sal. Yeah, birthday, Sal. So this is um, Cinderella's Mirabilia. No, Mirabilia Cinderella. I started this for Allison's birthday, such a long, started along, which was the princess birthday, Sal, in January. And a lot of people joined that, Sal, which was great. Mm -hmm. You finished both things? No, Just one, one of the things. Just we one. both started two things, and you finished one of them. Mm -hmm. I will probably finish the other thing I started this year, but not this. Mm -hmm. Um, I love how like old and classic and French it looks. Mm -hmm. However, if you saw our last, um, floss tube extra, you'll know I can't talk, I can't pronounce things in French, but I do love French things. Um, but if you are interested in this pattern and want to see like different colors, a Catherine, the needleberry stitcher is doing a color conversion on her that is stunning. And if I hadn't already committed to these colors, it'd be like hard to. Yeah, if I do like, one, I'd probably, yeah, probably do those colors. Those colors. I, I love the like wall tapestry feel almost, or like old school wallpaper feel. Mm -hmm. Like this, this to me feels like silk wallpaper. Like, but her is beautiful too. So I'll link to her in the description. And she lives in another Jasmine custom bag that Jasmine made for me and Allison for the it's Princess like Birthday Sal. Sal, which is the Cinderella, cute little Cinderella bag. And I know she has some extra of the fabric and sold a few other ones. I don't think oh. she has any more. But if you are interested in a um, bag from Jasmine's custom bags, but you want something like themed to your fancy lady, it doesn't hurt to DM her. She has different amounts of time, different times of the year. So, And the nice thing is I'm not pointing out any of the mistakes on these like I did during our the most recent Floss Tube episodes. You guys would have seen of them. <laughs> All right, this next one. Oh, I love this one. She doesn't get a lot of attention, but the attention she gets is so fun. So this is Lady Mirabilia. Allison picked up this chart for me when she was at Cecilia Samplers, which we have a video about her visit to Cecilia Samplers. I'll link to in the description too. So I stitched on her in November to start her. And then I pulled her out for a couple of I actually pulled her out for Memphis Sarah E and Mrs. Hannah Wilson Hems birthday styles because they both had oh. like fancy themed birthday styles. One was like anything fancy and one was like a fancy lady. But so anytime anybody does something that's like stitch She's extra fancy. fancy, I'm like, oh, well, well this because like, you know, I'm in this like purple, beautiful silver, like Karen water lilies. Yeah. Oh, the Cinderella is stitched on the called for, um, which is sorry. Um, me... And mirrors are done on 14 or 16 or 28, 32. A lot of the call for is 32, 32, but people will change it to 16, count eight it, and then just pierce the eight for half stitches. But then also if you're doing it on hand-eyed, like this hand-eyed, sometimes the beads on 32 hand-eyed um, feel tight. And so I was, the advice I got was to then go to 28. Okay. So the Cinderella is stitched on Belfast Smoky Pearl Linen uh, Half Yard. And then I put uh, Lady Mirabilia on Luna Moth by Bestitch Me. Mm, um, beautiful. And 28 count. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. And it's like a little bit greener. It's showing up a little bit silvery. Let's put it closer. And it's a little bit greener see. in real life. But she doesn't get a ton of attention, but I love every time I pull her out, I'm happy. And last night I did some rearranging oh, and she got moved to this blue. That's so cute. Bag because another one of my... Another one of my ladies got moved to her forever home, so she got kind of moved around a little bit. Mm. But that's okay. <laughs> um, all right. And yeah, I love living in her picture when I get to live in it, but it's not like, so it does not bother me that like she will take a long time, you know? 
because Fairy Flora and Cinderella are like my two. Fairy Flora is my main focus, but then Cinderella, I know I want to put up in my daughter's room at some point. So like before she's too old to like care about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like Lady Mary is going to take a while. Yeah. Um, all right. So the next one. Okay. So this one I just started on leap day and it has not had any progress since you guys saw it, but it will this is your get progress um, before we film another floss tube about it. That's what it is. Or before this video comes out, if this is on the schedule. So if I have an updated picture of progress, I'll include it now. I may or may not, but I probably will. So this is color, Waiting though. for That's Ships. Awesome. And this is an out of print chart that I like fell in love with because I loved, similarly to how I loved the way the Cinderella was like, it's like, I love how this, she's like off to the side. There's something about how it shows off the fabric that is so like fabulous. Interesting. And this is on a 28 count vintage pair by Lakeside Linens. Which is kind I of like a it. funny, you know, I don't know how many people choose Lakeside Linen for their Mirabilia's. They're kind of different worlds of stitching. But the color of this, I was just like, okay. This, mm -hmm. that color is like such a perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it a lot. So, um, and if you've good. ever, if you've never um, gotten a Mirabilia pattern, they have like stories and stuff on the back. And you can find their stories on the Witchell Mirabilia website too. Which is fun. So if you were looking for a specific theme or like when I did the princess birthday style announcement, I found all the princesses that were Mirabilia's and mm -hmm. some of them don't have the princess name, but they'll say like, this mermaid is a princess and like Aww. in her story. Oh, so cool. Um, she lives in my brand new Stitch and Go case, which um, I forgot that Renee from the Golden Familiars calls these Stitch and Go cases, which is so cute. Oh, Stitch and Go. Um, That's exactly what I use my for. <laughs> So she just moved into this this week. This is um, from the Golden Familiars. Uh, Renee from the Golden Familiars actually lives like two miles from here, um, but has an amazing company. You can see her little logo. And she made us these um, cases, which I showed on uh, not our last floss tube, but a, a recent floss tube. And um, so I have not put her stuff on floss straps yet, mm -hmm. but I was a little worried like, oh, is it going to be too like not fit in the space but it does okay good. i just need to get it on floss traps and then i'll braid them so when it goes in it goes in pretty like flat mm -hmm. and then um i'm stitching her with uh, another oval but it's like a nine inch and like between like how, like it's perfect it's mermaids and it's like green like <laughs> it could not be more perfect. like yeah. so last night when i was getting ready i was like she's moving in <laughs> oh and something i forgot to show when i showed this in um haul is Look at, or it's such a kindness. Let's look at the little mermaid charm. Oh, cute. So um, I will link to Renee's website and her Facebook group below if you are interested. I do think with projects like Mirabilia's, it is fun to get. Special. If you're going to invest, you know, $50 in linen, especially if you need like a half yard or like $30 in linen. And like, I don't tend to buy the V packs when I start them because, um, I'm like, well, I'll buy the V pack when I think I'm gonna finish it within the year. Um, but like, there's a lot to invest in these pieces. And so it is kind of fun to know like, okay, well, I'm gonna have this piece around for yeah. years. Let me put it in something that I love that's fun and kind of themed. And then when it's done. I think Jared's like, you spend enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can pay for the pack now. <laughs> oh, on Lady of the Fly. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of shocked. like. Fabric is that much? I'm like, well, I have to buy a half yard. A half yard, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so okay, Bye. that lady the flag or waiting for ships has <laughs> all moved into her little stitch and go case. I'm so happy. Okay, this is my last current whip. You're gonna laugh, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so this is this way to go. Elizabeth in the lavender sky, which is an out of print Mirabilia. I think it's MD10, but I'll check in a minute. Now this is like so 90s and it doesn't look like any of the other, there's a couple, no it's MD10. There's a couple other designs that look like this, but not like a ton. Like I'm thinking like Millennial Angel kind of looks like this, hmm. but I'm stitching her on Ada because it's almost full coverage. There's only a few places around the edge that aren't and I'm just going to stitch those. So I can, it's nice to have one Mirabilia on Ada, but I thought she was going to be the first one that I started and then I ended up having other things I was starting with people. Um... Because Moon Glow became a stitch along and, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm stitching Moon Glow with Elizabeth from Savory Sewing, Allie from Allie's Z's Crafting, a few other people. So that became a stitch along and Fairy Flora became a stitch along and nobody was like, I want to do a Elizabeth in the Lavender Sky <laughs> stitch along. No one wants to bring the 90s back? I love her. But the chart that I had was like, 
there are a lot of spots missing where I couldn't tell what the symbol was. Oh, I know. Which I have such a go? big... This way. Okay. I have such a big start. I can't believe you didn't know which way it was. I on. didn't. Exactly. Um, no. So I bought a second copy because I found... In the, so I got that first copy for $2. So if that tells you anything about this chart not being highly sought after. Then I found a second copy for $7 that is pristine so I could get make sure I have all the symbols right. Then we'll probably give that chart away at some point on our channel. But anyway. Maybe it'll um, make a comeback yeah. since you like it so much. Well, <laughs> I'm such a taste maker. Um, so, uh, well, it'll get shown and people okay. will realize it's glory. Absolutely. Because I think she's glorious. But I didn't get very far because I was like, I wasn't quite sure what some of these symbols were. And I was like, I'll just, I have other stuff to do. Yeah. So for Mira May, which I'll talk about in plans, she's going to get some love. Good. Cool. But she's our 90s goddess. And she lives. In um, this cat bag, it's not really themed for her, but is uh, wonderful nonetheless. It's super cute. Maybe when she gets some more progress, she'll get a bag that's yeah. like her style, like in nineties. That would be cool. All right, so those are my whips. So that's the concludes the whip parade portion, which you know varies in progress from a lot of progress to like. <laughs> You know, but stitches. I love each and every one of them, and yeah. I don't regret a single stitch. You absolutely love them. I love them. It's very and I'm gonna love the ones that I'm gonna start soon. So Yay. let's dive into plans. Okay. Since I've talked so much today, Allison, why don't you okay. tell us your Mira May plans first? Okay. So if you watched our recent floss tube, you know that Stephanie recently got. Um, she was a recipient of. She bought it, but it was really stitchy kindness. Um. And it's, so Stephanie is passing that on and letting me borrow Lady of the Flag. So um, I'm stitching it because I, when I saw it, I really loved it. But then my husband watches Lost Tube with me because he's an amazing guy. Um, so he plays video games while I watch it. And he they have hears, two TVs in the living room. They yeah. live the dream. We guys. do live the dream. They don't have children, so they can just do those things. I recommend it. Um, so he, he saw it. He said, that is the most beautiful pattern I've ever seen. It's like, okay, Jerry, you have very expensive I was taste. like, I was like, well, we can't have that one. <laughs> so thanks a lot. But, um, miracles happen, I guess. And I now get to stitch it. Well, just like putting myself out there for November and saying like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. People responded to that and we're like, okay, well, let's do it together. Putting out in the world that you really liked that pattern, even though you felt like it was too expensive, was you were never totally going to buy it, but that you loved it. Yeah. A couple different people reached out to us That's about true. it. So it's a little bit, I mean, it's not like because we're on floss tube, it's more just like we're this putting community. ourselves out there and being vulnerable and saying what we like and don't like and what we want and don't want. And people who feel that connection then can say like, okay, well, you know, maybe I can help you or I can't, yeah. you know, or. Yeah. yeah. I was offered to borrow it from someone else. So, I, and I don't want to discount that. Very also generous. Kind, yeah. Extremely generous offer. Um, that one came with, you know, a waiting period that I don't do well with. <laughs> I was going to do it, though. I was going to wait. You wouldn't because you didn't have any options. But yeah. you're not going to say, like, oh, well, I'm not going to borrow your sister to borrow somebody else's in right. the future. Right. Because I'm not going to start her. Right. What I My theory with Lady of the Flag is I didn't fall in love with her until I started seeing her over and over and over again. But my guess is watching you stitch her. Because, like, of them, expensive mirrors, Touching the Autumn Sky and Queen of Peace are, like, the two that I'm, like... And Madonna of the Garden are the ones where I'd be like, oh, I, those are the That's ones true. I want. Yeah. But um, I think over the next however many months it takes you, watching you stitch her, I will either fall in love with her and really want to stitch her, which I'll probably do, um, do what Nancy the Disorderly Stitcher and Laura Laura Stitches are doing and do the blue conversion. The blue conversion. Because I also think beautiful. if I see you stitch her for a year, I don't know if I can then also stitch her exactly the same. And I'm obsessed with the blue conversion for her. It's Another... Um, person on floss tube who is stitching her with a different she's using the green conversion is um so what stitcher so if you like the green conversion or if you just like watching people stitch lady the flag whether you like want to stitch her ever yourself or not definitely go check out her channel too so um but yeah tell us what your actual like my plans your logistics are for stitching lady the flag the logistics what do you mean like Okay, I'll tell you my plan. <laughs> I know what that is. Um, okay, so I'm starting to hit her up. I'm going to do Mira May with Stephanie and everybody who's doing Mira May. Uh, I'm going to start on May 1st, and my 10-year wedding anniversary 
is this December. It's at the end of this December, which means I'm going to lose my mind and make it a goal to finish by my anniversary. I think you can do it. You've beaded before. I have beaded and I like it. I and like you, to you're beat. not afraid of beading. You've beaded no. multiple projects. Yes. You have been a monogamous stitcher that doesn't yes. bother you and you've completed yes. gigantic projects. Big, but not gigantic. <laughs> but big, I have probably stitched I've stitched pieces with this many. Do you know how many? Uh, oh, we wanted to show the pattern because um, we've been talking about her for a while, but show the pattern. And then Andrew, the runner stitcher, is hosting the My First Mirror Cell. Mm -hmm. He's very far in his first mirror. And, and he's, he's on more than one. He started so the second mirror. He likes them. But um, he's Good stitching uh, Lily of the Woods. Yes. Um, but that's. All right. So um, how many stitches is it? Do you know? Uh, roughly 33,000. You can totally get 33,000 stitches done. I think so, too. Yeah, no. Even if half of those are beads. <laughs> Especially though, because I don't like. Know if, no, beads are. Beads take longer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because you have to do a loop. But I was just thinking, like, um, because that means. There, I was thinking it was 33,000 and beads. And you're telling me some of those stitches are beads. Some of those stitches have to be beads because they're yeah. symbols. I, I just do. Um, we do our tracking. To, I, oh, okay. I have not put my in markup. I have all mine in good notes because oh, okay. to do it in markup, you have to take like individual pictures of them. When I get them scanned at FedEx, they don't go into my markup correctly, but some people are able to get the settings right to get those scans into markup. Yeah. But I just have mine in Goodreads. And now that I've had it for so long in Goodreads, I don't want to like yeah. start over. But it means I don't know how many stitches most of my patterns are. Well, and I usually don't. Pay attention, yeah. but this time. But it's nice. Okay, so yeah, I need I need to see that progress. <laughs> yeah, so you, so you would, so maybe just call it like fifty thousand, knowing the beads take longer. They do take longer, and then figure out what you need to do per day. Mm -hmm. But even then, if it was, I did. It was forty. It was like four thousand a month. Four four thousand two hundred. You got this. I think so too. But I will have to. I track stop my stitches. Some of my so I track my stuff. stitches, and I stitch less than you. Yeah, because I have small children. And I'm um. Gonna... And she has adorable dogs, yes. which are as much chaos, but don't need quite as much like <laughs> mind. I don't have to make them good human yeah. beings. So. Um, and I stitch about 500 stitches a day. Okay. So that means I'm stitching about 15,000 stitches a month. You don't stitch that much less than I do. I would say, cause I stitch twice a day. I stitch before work and before bed. I stitch after, but like, just like I, I and I also have days where like, I can't get any like, I, I stitch every day, but I have days where, like, I'll hit, like, 100 or whatever. Oh. But at the end of the month, I usually have between twelve and 15,000 stitches done. Which means for you, that would be... So that would mean for me, if I only stitch that four months, mm -hmm. accounting for the extra time on the beads. Mm -hmm. So for you, if you're telling you, saying you need it done by, like, early December so you can get mm -hmm. it framed? I would probably want it November because Christmas framing is probably oh, really? a nightmare. Yeah. But still, like, you got... May, June, July, August, September, October. You got six months before you're even in November. But I calculated that based on ending in December. Oh, I forgot okay. to include the... Okay. Well, still, so I think you're... It's probably more like five. I don't think I could accomplish that. Yeah. Oh, so that was a funny interruption. Um, anyway, so... Um, all right, so you're going to try to get it done by early November? Yes. Late November? Late November, hopefully. I think you can do it because you've been a monogamous stitcher. Yes. And that's, you don't have to be monogamous on it. You just have to be fairly monogamous. Like, mostly. Yeah. Like, you can have illicit clandestine. No starts, though. That'll be the hard part because I don't want to add. Because the start the adds stuff. the time yeah. because it's like you got to kit it up. And yeah. Everything. Um, and then when you do a start, you get so excited. You want to work on it for a few days at least. And then always. I bet time. you should, I mean, maybe feel like, see like, okay, how long do you need for the beading? Cause you, you, I have not beaded something. You know how long your beading takes. Well, it took me a really long time cause I just learned. Yeah. So I had to watch the video a few times. <laughs> so I, I guess it's just like, maybe figure out how to be done with the stitching at the end of September. Mm -hmm. Give yourself all of October to bead plus part of November if you need it. Mm-hmm. It depends. I don't really, I didn't count how many beads there are. Yeah. Like what percentage of yeah, those I beads? I think it's well, just that the bead pack. Do you have the bead pack you bought? And her. That bead pack you bought is, is huge. Is big. Um, it's not here yet. I bought, oh, okay. I bought the bead pack, but listen to this. It requires two packs of, Three. One, of one color, two packs of another color, and then one pack of the other one, and then two packs of another one. Yeah. So... Two packs. Do you know how many beads come in those things? Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, that's a lot of beads. It's a lot of beads because it's like her whole crown. Yeah, and, like, and her hem is like huge. I think this part down here. Her you know what's funny is like that. I'm not. It looks like that's all beaded. I'm not a patriotic stitcher, but the more I see pictures of her stitched up, the more I'm like, oh, but that's such a pretty dress. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> She is gorgeous. And the way the flag folds, it like looks so realistic. Mm -hmm. But I think that, but I do think I will do the blue as like a Felicity Merriman. Oh, but she's so like. But you'll have the gold. Mm -hmm. So I'll be over here once a week seeing the sure, gold. Because sure. she'll be like right she, here. She's going right there. <laughs> she's going right there. Don't <laughs> you think she would look great in the background of our videos? Right? <laughs> hey. um, all right. So and all anything right. else you have? Those are my plans. I bought the B pack because I was, and I know I won't be for a long time. But, um, but you know you want it done this But week. I know I want it done. And it's an out-of-print pattern, so I don't know how often is there a pack or if yeah. I have to do that myself. So I bought it on eBay. Um, just ordered the fabric. It half, It's half a yard of fabric. On, 30, on 16 count. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm doing 16 count. Um, I'm doing it on Ada because I'm not going to do all of these stitches on a fabric I'm not comfortable with. Well, it'll go a lot faster if you have a deadline. Yes. Yeah. And I'm but just a more dyed, comfortable. But an overnight Ada will be soft and Yeah. Pretty. It'll be fine. Um, I, I'm a little worried um, that where I ordered it from, after I ordered it, then I read the shipping instructions that said 45 days, maybe. Um, and that won't work because uh, I am starting it on May 1st or I will not finish it. So um, I might be looking for more for a different option but you want she wants to do it on something that's like kind of like a warm goldy beige yeah. tan but warm warm yeah um i think it's gonna look so pretty i'm excited, I'm so excited for you yay and, Three stitching. um okay so i'm gonna be starting <clears throat> three three my original plan was to start two like in my 20 24 24 new starts plans i said i was gonna start two this month and two in november um because, like I said, I live in the pictures, and I'm okay with, like, maybe I vacation in this picture one day. Like, it's fine. But um, I listed some options, and people reached out to me and said, uh, on a couple of them, and said, oh, I'll, I'll do that with you if you do it. I don't know, because that was in December of 2023. I don't know if by May those plans are will have changed or not. Mm -hmm. But even just saying that got me, my heart set on, like, and me thinking about starting these particular ones. Okay. So, and then in the haul, we got the nice, like, vintage pattern haul. I said in that video, I was going to start one of those patterns, too. So, I added one to my starts. Yeah. So, the first one I'm going to start is Cathedral Woods Goddess. So, this is one I'd said I was going to start. And I'm not going to put them on blast saying they're going to start it with me because they, all the people I, who said they wanted to start things with me have already been mentioned on in other situations. And they may, like I said, they may at this point be like, you know what, I am going to do something else with my May. So I'm not going to put them on blast, but I love, oh, that's what I'm looking for is right here. I love her. I thought she'd be the very, very, very first one I started, but then the fabric I ordered for her took longer than I thought. Yeah. That, that's what I'm worried about. Um, I got a dye to order that said three to 12 weeks and it really did come. It really was shipped at like 12 weeks. And if it had been shipped up to like six weeks, I would have been able to start her. But anyway, so I think she's just stunning and fabulous. And Rachel from Lucky Floss finished her last year. And um, so because I did order the fabric for her last year, I have it just ready to go. So when people were like, oh, well, I'll style that one with you, it's like perfect because the fabric's here. So I'm stitching her on 28 count Enchanted Forest by Bestitch Me. Ooh. Now I do need to figure out like exactly which side and which position will be best for her. But look at how beautiful like in the middle she'll go. Yeah. Oh, I just love this fabric. And it was worth waiting for, and I am not at all sad that I yeah. didn't start her in November. I started other fabulous projects, and I can't wait to start her too. Yes. Now, she, because I did think she was going to be the first one I was going to do, I do have her chronic, but I don't have her beat back. I still got to buy the chronic. Sorry. <laughs> um, all right, the second one I'm going to start is Stargazer. And um, that's a good one. Laura from Lala View Stitches is working on her. It's beating her. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, I gotta Stitch look. Mommy. Stitch Mommy, I think, has done her, right? I think she's still working on it. Um, there's a floss tuber who I was talking about because she just posted that she is loving working on her. 
And it's a newer to be floss tuber that I found this year during whip parade season. And I can't remember her like channel name. So I will list it here. But she is working on her and just talked recently about how much she loves working on her. And she, this floss tuber has finished Winter Queen. I think she might have finished all the seasonal queens. And she also is like got lots of Irabilias on the go. So to say for her to say this is one that she loves is a really big deal. Cool. And so I'm excited about stitching her. She does need a half yard, which is why I didn't make her my... No, no. I was going to do a different one for Leap Day, but... Um, does she need a half yard? No. No, 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 she doesn't. I was thinking of Fairy Moon because they have similar vibes, okay. but Fairy Moon needs a half yard. But I am very excited about her. I pulled the fabric for her. I'm not 100% sure that she's going to be what I stitch it on, but I kind of love the original, the plainness of the original and don't really yeah, want something fancy. Mm -hmm. So this is 32 count vintage country mocha by Zweigart. Even though it does have some modeling, it's printed. So I don't think that affects the whole size. So I think a 32 would be oh, fine. Right. Right. And it's, I think it's very close. The call for is toasted almond linen by Witchell, which I, I don't stitch on Witchell linen. So, but I think this is pretty close. I think that'll I look think great. So. Yeah, I think it's very close. And I like the idea of a plainer one. Mm -hmm. And then the final one I'm going to stitch, which is from the bundle that we got from the lovely, wonderful Lilani, is Adia the, Adia the Garden Fairy. And I know, I know someone who's stitching this, but the floss tuber I thought it was isn't. And I, so I cut that out of the video because I was like, well, I'm not going to say she's stitching it if she's not. Um, but I know somebody is stitching this, but she's so sweet. And I just love how it hangs, like... Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I actually am so excited that I took away fabric from another project. Oh. It was earmarked for another project, and I'm giving it to her. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's called Garden Party. Yeah. It's 20 account by Miss Stitch Made Garden Party. I was going to do Floral Dreams on it. And I love this. But I bought three options for Floral, Floral Dreams, and Floral Dreams will also be easy to find another replacement for because I'm going to start her in, just, in November. Yeah. So I'll think about, like... That'll look so good right but, in the center. Right? Like, yeah. and she's gold, but the yeah. oranges and the greens, I think, will play really well with the gold. I hope so. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I hope so. We'll know in 10, we'll know. We'll know in 10 years when she's done. <laughs> but I'm so excited about it. I think so, though. No, it's really pretty. Um, I don't have the DMC for these guys. And um, I have the Krynik for for through the Woods guys, but not for anybody else. So I will buy the DMC for them before May. I will not buy the Krynik. Or the beads until I'm like Ready. potentially going to actually need to the, get to them because I do DMC then chronic the beads. Mm -hmm. So that's like I have question. the chronic and the beads for Moon Glow because I know she'll be the first one I get to that stuff for. But like it's like okay if something seems finishable in six months to a year, then I will work right. on it. Yeah. Okay, I we just like wrapped up recording. I completely forgot to say like. Okay, well here are my whips and here are my starts and my plans are actually to stitch. Blah. So my goal is to touch all of my whips, so all six whips, and to get all three starts and have at least 500 stitches in each. So that means each one will be a focus for like one night or get partial, um, like maybe a little bit over two nights because I have this other big project that I'm working on at, on the design side that I really want to release in June. And only really makes sense to, well, the best time to release it would be in June. So I have all these models stitching. So I'm like frantically stitching these models, but my models um, are all like full coverage um, travel photographs that have been charted. And so the fancy ladies are very different kind of stitching. So it's like, I'll be stitching my models. And then when I want to break, go stitch the fancy ladies. And then over the course of May, that means about a third of my time will be spent on Mira May. And the rest of my time will be on models. And then all my other projects really won't get touched in May. And I'm okay with that. So that are my actual like Miro May plans <laughs> to fulfill the promise of the premise of the video. <laughs> so that is my plans for Miro May. Yay. We would love to hear what your plans for Miro May are. If you want to stitch any of these with us. If you're already stitching any of them. If you want to make a fun hashtag with us. Yeah. Um... um the Nancy the Disorderly Stitcher said we should do the Lady of the Flag together. So, Aww. yay! And I'm stitching, um, like, that's I'm in her uh, Bill, uh, Shores of Hawker Hollow cell. So okay. that's fun. Yay. And, um, oh, her blue conversion's so pretty. But if you want to stitch any of these with us, if you want to stitch a different Mira, but you want to do Mira May with us, like, feel Is free. Is this your first 
Mira. Yeah, feel free to tag us. And like I said, I started in November. I love them. I don't find them intimidating because they're such big lots of color. Mm. We'll see when I get to the Krynik and the beads, but you'll get there first, so you'll let oh, me know. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I just like living in these beautiful yeah. pictures anyway, so. So if you got to this point in the video, uh, leave a dress emoji for all of these beautiful fancy ladies and their wonderful dresses. Um, except for the mermaids, of course, but it's, you know, if, if you really don't like a dress, you can leave a mermaid or leave a mermaid. Well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that'll be our secret language that you made it that far, this far. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And, um, we would love to have you. Thumbs and up, comment. Next Monday, you'll see a normal floss tube. Thursdays, you'll see a beginner tutorial. And, um, uh, that's all. Thanks so much. Bye, Bye. guys. Thank you.